Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you guys are here. Um, thank you so much for being here with me. So on today's episode, um, we're going to do something a little bit different, something that I had been thinking about doing for a long time, um, and that's basically doing hot topics. So I won't be reviewing Real Housewives of Potomac to, uh, today. Um, I will upload my review for that soon. Um, we have a lot to talk about on that one, especially with the new article coming out. Yeah, there is a lot to talk about there. Um, but yeah, I just want to go over some hot topics that um, have recently been happening, especially with this new year, 2024. It has been a lot. I feel like 2024 is definitely starting out with a bang and it's just not stopping at all. Um, so definitely um, a lot to talk about there. So please... Um, like and subscribe to my channel so that way we have a lot more fun and definitely comment on anything any topics that you guys want me to cover I'd be more than happy to do that so yeah let me know so let's get started with our first uh, hot topic which is going to be um, something that I it was literally right off the bat like I think maybe just like the third day after the new year um it was um if you guys know the comedian Cat Williams and so he did um, and he went on to the podcast of Club Shay Shay, which is hosted by Mr. Shannon Sharp. If you guys know him, I I know him mostly from Undisputed. So he was on this sports show um, called Undisputed with um, Skip Bayless. Um, and last year, um, he um, got off that show and then came to um, basically did his own show or wor works with First Take and ESPN. But basically what they're doing now he does his own podcast called club shay shay and i have heard of this podcast but i never really like listened to it really i i've heard of him i i mostly see um his takes on first take and talking about sports and stuff but um this was my first time ever watching um any of his episodes on that um and yeah this interview was fire guys it was insane there's just no way to really go about it than to just pretty much cat just literally just went off on every single person i think has done him wrong or that he believes or you know we don't know that has stolen his comedies or his jokes and it was just like non-stop like the transparency that he was showing was just insane. Like, he just did not stop on anyone. Like, he literally talked about a lot of the people that you know about. Like, especially if you're into, like, comedy, um, most of the heavy hitters that he talked about was Steve Harvey, um, Bernie Mac, he, you know, um, and Kevin Hart. Those are most of the other names that I know. He did talk about some other comedians, but I don't... I don't really know those names, but those are the ones that really came out to me that I know of. Um, he also talked about Kim and Kanye, and I, and on that section, like, I was just, like, shocked, you know? And mostly, I think what was just shocking was just, like, he just, like, said it so blatantly, and it was just, like, nothing holding back, and... And then all the memes that are coming from that, like it was just in, it was just in, in, insane. And one of the first, one of the things that I really stood out to me in this uh, episode with, um, or this podcast with Club Shay Shay was just how like transparent and how like he literally had almost I, I i almost thought if maybe he wrote this before he came like i'm like did he have an outline because it feels like he almost had an outline of every single thing he was going to be talking about um and i know that uh shannon did you know kind of steer the conversation there were some points where i was just like uh, i was like okay i'm not really sure why we're getting into it like he tried to get into it with um about his you know previous life when he was younger and stuff like that i don't i thought that part was just a little weak on me for that i i didn't really find much interest in it i mean it's cool but i was just like okay um but then later on he you know started talking about you know the comedians and then these comedians not really um being up front with like how they acquire their success um, also, one thing that I remember a lot was when he said about Steve Harvey that he never really was homeless, that he was earning about $3,000 for, sh you know, for some work that he was doing. And I was just like, if there's one thing we know is that Steve Harvey sometimes does, you know, 
I wouldn't say expound, but just always reminds, you know, his fans that, yeah, I was homeless at one point, but look at me now, you know, just that rhetoric that he has. But I, it was just a fire interview, guys. And I recommend you guys listen to it. Um, I, there was, there are some points where I'm like, okay, let me just skip this part. But most of it was pretty entertaining. And that's one thing that I noticed about him. So I don't watch a lot of his like stand up, to be quite honest. I know mostly from him, from like his interviews. Like he did an interview uh, a couple years ago with a radio show when he literally just like roasted one of the, um, one of the people that work there, um, one of the presenters there. And it is hilarious. Like I was like, whenever I'm having a bad day, I was just pulled that up on YouTube and just, it was just so funny. It was, I, I felt bad for the lady because obviously, you know, you didn't sign up to get roasted like this by one of the top comedians, but at the same time, it was pretty funny. So <laughs> I just feel like Cat Williams is going to be remembered by a lot of good things, but this is going to be the thing that I, I think a lot of people now are going to be remembering him most from that. So good on him for that. So um, our next hot topic is basically um, one that was very, very popular on Friday. So if you guys know, I'm sure you guys all know. So Miss Ariana Grande, and I feel like I have like her half up ponytail look, kind of, not really, but sort of. <laughs> but um, so yeah, so Ariana Grande just came out with her new single, Yes And. And this has coming off from her previous, her most current scandal of her and Ethan Slater, who is her partner or boyfriend at the current time. So if you guys don't know, um, Miss Ariana Grande um, is uh, gonna was doing a movie called Wicked. So Wicked is like a Broadway musical um, and it's and it's basically doing it as like a, you know, a movie version of it. Um, kind of like Lim is um, pretty much is what they're doing with Wicked. So she is one of the protagonists and Ethan Slater, who I didn't never heard of him. Apparently he is like a SpongeBob, like in a Broadway musical. I didn't know SpongeBob had his own musical. So that's how out of touch I am with Broadway. Um, but he is also in the movie. He's one of the cast members and married uh, with a kid. And so is Ariana Grande, and um, basically um, both kind of pretty much filed for divorce almost at the same time, and pretty much got together right after. So, and allegedly it's being said that that did not happen, that they didn't start it until like afterwards, and yeah, I mean, I can see that, but at the same time, you know, it's like you were, it's like you're dating someone or even married to someone, and out of nowhere, they're like, um, yeah, I want to file for divorce. And you're like, okay. And then next thing you know, that person the next day is like, yeah, I'm dating someone. And it's just like, something's going on. Like something is just not right here. Like, yeah, you did divorce them. But then, you you know, you just don't suddenly out of nowhere start dating someone just randomly. You know, there had something been going on, either some heavy flirting going on or, or something, some, some, something's been going on. And so it it is such a huge, I, I think, a scandal for her. And I don't necessarily feel like it really helps her career. Um, I, I don't know. Out of all the men that Miss Ariana Grande can have and can have access to, to have done it with a man that um, is just pretty much married with a kid. And I don't know. I mean, you know, life is messy and you can't always um, help who you fall in love with and stuff. But at the same time, like, there's just some consciousness that should go about as to how you're dealing with relationships like that so i i don't know i think it's just very messy i don't necessarily think it's the best thing for her career um but i don't know we'll see i mean they could i mean this dude ethan slater could just be you know just dating her for you know whatever reasons and you know three months from now they've been broken up and you know he's divorced and can go on about his life but 
I don't know. It's just a messy situation. And um, I do feel for Ethan Slater's um, soon to be ex-wife or ex-wife now. I, I don't know. But that just like I, I can only imagine to not only lose your husband in that way, but to lose it to one of the most popular, you know, superstars in the world. And then also have a song coming out with, you know, some of the things that have said in that song. And I'll, I'm going to read you some of the some of the things and I, I guess it could be that but we don't know but I mean it's just like so like I feel like it's taking advantage of the situation but at the same time it's like how like I don't know it's just so bad I don't know but um so yeah so one of the lyrics on her songs is like don't comment on my body do not reply like there's just been a lot of speculation about her how skinny she is and like her you know surgeries and stuff that she haven't had anything um and then um one of the lines says your business is yours and mine is mine okay well we'll take that and then um why do you care so much who's blank 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 you know I write and so on so you guys get it you know um yeah I mean these are pretty straightforward lyrics you know I I mean I I don't know just very straightforward lyrics I not a huge fan of the song to be quite honest not because of the scandal or anything but it's just I I felt like the song really wasn't giving what I felt like it was trying to give like it was trying to be like this anthem like say with your chest yes and and it's just like okay and like <laughs> I don't know I just I, I feel like the song was mid for me um it I I heard it like the first part I like it but then afterwards it's like okay and then um her her notes some of her notes are just so high that I can't really understand what the lyrics are. That's that's one thing that I've kind of like had like a I'm fine with one of her songs. Like she just her voice is just so high and it's just like, okay, what are we singing about? You know? <laughs> but I mean, it's popular. A lot of people liked it. A lot of people enjoyed it because I'm sure she's had a lot of downloads. But I for me, I don't know, as a comeback song, I'm like could have thought of this a little bit longer. I don't know. I, I'm a, I, I like Ariana Grande. She's had some very good songs lately, you know, especially with like Seven Rings, uh, Thank You Next. Like those are fun songs, you know. Um, and I really like um, her song Tattooed Heart. If you guys ever heard of that song, like you can hear the vocals that this Ariana Grande has. And it's insane. I don't know how that song is not more popular than it is. Um, and I almost kind of wish she would have come out with a ballad song, like a romantic ballad song, because she can build those notes out like, uh, you know, insane. But I don't know. I, I'm not a huge fan of the song, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe some better songs will come out. So we'll see. But yes. So our next topic is a little bit more. If you're a Swift fan or a Taylor Swift fan, welcome. <laughs> so, um... Obviously, I feel like everybody knows that she is dating Travis Kelsey from um, the Chiefs. So, um, um, Kansas City Chiefs. So, she's dating him. He is uh, tied in in their um, in their um, in their team, and he's pretty much very popular. He's a very popular player, even before dating Taylor Swift. Like. Um, he's been out and, you know, he's dated some people that are pretty known. And so, I mean, I'll, I think he's becoming even more popular now, but he did have some type of stardom before. Like apparently they did some type of show, um, you know, where they were doing some type of like dating thing for him. So, I mean, he's pretty popular. Um, but yeah, so she showed up, Taylor so showed up with a jacket with his last name um, behind or in the back with his number on it. And and everyone was going crazy about this jacket. And his jacket was made, um, custom made by Kristen Juzik. I believe that's how you pronounce her last name. So she makes his like custom made jackets. And I know that um, she did one for Simone Biles. Um, and I believe from the video that I saw also for Taylor Lautner. 
Um, but the one that she did for um, Taylor Swift was for this game. And I like that she wore it. And then, you know, they did this little video of her. And also Patrick Mahomes' wife was also was wearing one of, of her husband's numbers. So, yeah, it was like all over the Internet, like all over Twitter. And it was insane. Um, and I'm just like so, so happy for her. I really hope this relationship really does work out for her. Um, apparently, allegedly, they're doing like like a they're getting engaged this summer and so it's just like wow like I I don't know I don't know if I'm ready for her to be engaged like I've known her to be dating guys you know all of my life like like I feel like I grew up with Taylor like I remember graduating in 2006 in 2007 is from when I remember that I listened to her songs and I fell in love with her songs and I bought the CD, the one that has teardrops on my guitar on it. And um, yeah, I've been a fan since I kind of lost a little bit of contact in terms of her songs from like, you know, after Fearless and maybe after 1989 up until like now. Um, like Folklore um, is one of the albums I'm not too familiar with, although I do like August. August is probably one of my favorite songs so far that I've listened to. I just love that song. But, and so I feel like I'm like, you know, kind of like re-emerging as a Taylor Swift fan. Um, just because like I've known her for so long, you know, it's just like I feel like, you know, I've all my life pretty much. And she was in my town earlier last year and I thought of going, but I just didn't, I don't know, I just didn't make the effort of going. And now that I know how popular and how much I'm like, I've become a fan now, I'm like, wait, do I, should I go to one of her concerts? So um, I know she has uh, Miami and Indiana scheduled this year. I was thinking of maybe going for Indiana, but I saw those ticket prices and they're like a thousand or were like 1200. And I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. Maybe I'll just watch the movie. Maybe that's better for me. Um, but yeah, I'm just so happy for them. And, you know, I love, you know, her seeing her, you know, you know, giving force to the crowd and, you know, her tearing on for her boyfriend and try to see through like the window and and then her, you know, having fun with the crowd and stuff. And I'm just like that. That is so cool. I what I love about her is that she's just gonna enjoy her life like no matter what like I know some artists are artists are like please I need my privacy like just leave me alone but her is just like I'm just gonna enjoy my life and people are watching who cares like and I I really admire that from her um especially with how big of a star she is like she is just gonna live her life no matter what and so I I really I really like that about her and I do wish her the best for this like a relationship that he she has and if she does get engaged like that is gonna be huge like that's gonna literally break the internet worldwide like I can only imagine but we'll see how it goes all right guys well this is um my channel for today um I hope you guys like my hot topics and I hope you guys to see you soon make sure to like and subscribe and um I'll see you guys soon bye